A Calumet County woman will go to trial for child abuse charges. That determination was made in court late this afternoon for 26-year-old Kristen Hitty, accused of intentionally hurting her two sons, ages 6 and 3. Fox 11's Bill Miston was in court and has the latest. Chilton police testified the alleged abuse happened about two weeks ago at Hitty's now vacant apartment on Lincoln Street in Chilton. Police say the investigation started when Hitty brought her three-year-old son to the Calumet Medical Center with severe swelling and bruising of his genitals. Hitty told doctors the injuries were from three weeks earlier when a toilet seat fell on the boy's genitals. The officers told the court doctors found evidence of significant bruising on the boy's head, face, as well as what appeared to be cigarette burns on the boy's palm. I asked him about his... Um, an injury on his hand and I asked him what happened to his hand and he stated he had an owie. I asked him how he got that owie and he stated mommy did it. However, Winstead says when Hitty was questioned about that injury, Hitty said it happened to the boy at his father's house over the 4th of July weekend. Doctors transported the boy to Children's Hospital of Wauwatosa for further treatment. Dr. Swenson phoned me that, um, that day. And what did Dr. Swenson tell you? She stated that she considered the injuries to be life-threatening and the overall result was of extensive physical abuse of a child. The second set of child abuse charges came after investigators were told about bruises on Hitty's six-year-old son. Nurses told investigators the bruising was not consistent with the normal care or discipline of a child. The court uh, is not going to uh, amend the bottom of this time. Judge Freilich rejected Hitty's request to reduce her $10,000 bond. Defense attorney Eric Loy said neither he nor Hitty's family were going to talk at this time. Hitty is scheduled to enter a plea on August 13th. In Chilton, Bill missed it. Fox 11 News. Now, police say doctors don't know whether the three-year-old will suffer long-term from his injuries, but the boy is no longer in the hospital. Police also said that both boys, as well as a five-year-old sibling, are staying with Hitty's mother.